Hi, this is Todd Malicote, the SEO faculty at Market Motive and online marketing consultant at StuntDouble.com. And I'm here to give you the lowdown on keyword research tools. We're going to take a look at the keyword research process and how that relates to the tools and tasks you'll be doing with various tools. Then I'll do some live demos of all the keyword research tools that I've used and some comparisons on free versus paid for the task at hand. The keyword research process is fairly straightforward. We're going to create a list, expand that seed, or create a seed list, expand that list, evaluate that list, and ultimately create an information architecture or a taxonomy with keywords related to different pages. So we're going to do that with a variety of keyword research tools. Each of these tools is going to do just a little bit different tasks. Some are going to help you discover those keywords. Some are going to help you expand those keywords and then you'll export those to a spreadsheet or something and organize those into those taxonomies or into those um, into those buckets or groups. There's, some of these tools will even help you organize and categorize those keywords in that way. From there you're going to create content around those keywords. So there's keyword research tools that help you to create content. If you're creating content it'll give you uh, keyword suggestions. And then from there we're going to refine that keyword list and we're going to find the ones that convert, the ones that are important, the ones that are high on our priority list with regards to SEO. So to find any of the tools on this list you can go to Annie Cushing's list. It's todd.at slash Annie and this is going to give you that entire list of keyword tools and that's what we're going to look at right now. So from this list, there's a handful of, of great keyword research tools. Um, you can see the, her list here is very extensive. I went through these, and these are all uh, a lot of the tools that I've played with over the years. She's done a great job of consolidating them in one place. I have them here as well under stuntdouble.com slash mmtools. So there's just nice quick links to some of these tools. So in order to expand that list, we're going to start here. We're going to try Uber Suggest, which is a great little tool for it scrapes uh, Google Suggest and says, okay, if we type in marketing or marketing training, what are all the variations of that? And so obviously courses, programs, jobs, manual, and then it goes through and does suggest. So marketing training activities and development and consultant, Australia. You can see how it adds uh each each letter of the alphabet to these and just a great tool to expand that expand that uh keyword list so we can add that just uh just a nice little tool for um free keyword discovery rather than um not necessarily analysis but we're just building that monster seed list another tool in this vein is suvel you can see here s o o v l e and i did fishing charters my my pet term here and um and I found all these variations. I found all the variations of um, uh, from Wikipedia, from Bing, from YouTube, and, and I get, start to get an idea of what variations of that people are searching for. So for those short tail phrases, it expands those out, and you just get a nice visual of some of the keywords that you should be considering. The next tool we're going to look at is Google Trends. You can see this is great for temporal or timely search queries. Um, we're going to do something like Valentine's Day, and you can see during February there's obviously much higher volume for that. Uh, Father's Day leading up to June, there's there's more volume for that. Christmas lights, there's there's more volume obviously during that time of year. So you start to get an idea of the seasonal trends of of the different types of uh, keywords. Now this isn't going to be help you really build out your list. It's just going to help you more with discovery and and thinking of ideas and understanding the timely the potential timely nature of of a keyword. So the next tool is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, Word Trackers had a free offering for a long time and it's one of the first SEO tools I ever worked with. They have a complete premium tool set now. They're doing a great job. They've branched out into link building and training and, and other areas. 
Um, but if you do something, if you go to free keywords dot key, uh, word tracker, you can just do a search and and get an idea. They have a seven day free trial, so you can take the trial and and cancel. Um, but give this a try. Bounce through the entire premium tool set. They have the free trial, so you can do that. It's pretty reasonable anyway. If you if it's a tool that you think you'll use, you can get it monthly for seventy bucks or or annually for 450 which is pretty reasonable so it's it, if you're early on in your keyword research this is a good go-to tool SEO book has a free keyword tool you have to be registered to use it so you register for a free account um, but then you get this wonderful tool so I did a search for Forex here and it gave me all the word tracker counts the Google counts everything else so this one is actually free there's no um, there's no period on it uh, of what you can use it as long as you're signed up for the the site you can you can use this tool but you do have to be signed in um, so you get all the traffic volume metrics and then just some cool insights so it pulls in Google Trends and Yahoo suggest um, and, and a variety of different things and you can see word tracker and and it gives you all the variations of, of these keywords of course you can export this uh, to a CSV for use in Excel and you can start to organize that a little bit so this is a free tool he has a premium community there as well for uh, $2.99 a month I believe uh, but this tool is great a great free one to use to to create that initial seed list um, another great free slash premium tool is WordStream. They have a few free tools that you can use. You can uh, use the keyword grouper here where you can enter a keyword list and, and group those. Um, and there's some other free offerings here. They do have a, a paid offering as well. I believe they are at about that same. They're a little bit more expensive price point, I guess, uh, of $300 a month. But they do have some excellent tools here in, in WordStream. You can see I did a free version and got it emailed to me with just you know a dozen phrases uh, for marketing. But they do have a nice offering. They're they're one of the players in the space. But again, it's going to be a premium type of product. There's there's a few free tools within here, um, but most of them aren't going to let you export or expand uh, very far for your keyword list. So good one to check out. Uh, is is WordStream. The standard edition is is 329 for the year here. Word Tracker we touched on, you can actually organize those keyword phrases into your information architecture, which is a nice, cool little uh, ability to be able to do that. Not many of the keyword uh, research tools allow you to organize into an information architecture as well. They do a whole uh, keyword research project, which then ties into the rest of your rest of your SEO project. And like I said in the intro video, that's how you're going to stitch these tool sets together and decide, hey, I need these three packages in order to, uh, to complete the full service SEO suite to do all the things I need to do with keyword research and competitive intelligence and link building, etc. Uh, so I touched on Yahoo Clues briefly. This is another free tool from Yahoo. You can just get some keyword ideas. Here's this here. Again, you can you can get all of these tools in Annie's Annie's wonderful list, um, and and dig through these yourself. So I did a search for fishing, and I get the demographic information. I get some breakdown information, previous queries, uh, new queries, etc. Another nice little tool, uh, Visual Thesaurus. This is just going to give you a visual representation of some of the words related to uh, to your project. Yippee is actually a search engine um, but if you do something like marketing or marketing training it's going to give you these little clouds on the side and so you can expand that and kind of find some synonymous terms associated with the broad level of whatever it is that you're doing for your for your SEO project probably my most favorite tool for competitive research and keyword research combined is SEMrush. It's absolutely fantastic. In fact, so I just repurchased this today. It's a great, really great offering. It's about 70 bucks a month and just phenomenal information. So they've been scraping search results and different sites and finding their top keywords for, for quite some time. So they'll find the top 500 or, or more keywords on a site and I can go to any any site any competitor and find all of their keywords 
and then see if, if, if my site's ranking for those. So you can see everything that Market Motive ranks for, all of the different phrases. I can compare that to some of the competitive offerings out there and decide which phrases are relevant to me. Now this data is, is great. You can sort it in a variety of different ways. You get some metrics like uh, search traffic price, which is very, very hard to come by. There's not many tools that actually provide you with this type of data of saying this is the value of this competitor's traffic. Um, and, and and it's a good piece of intelligence to have. Now, this is a little bit beyond keyword research tools, but this is where I say this, this one kind of bridges the gap of keyword research and competitive analysis. It doesn't necessarily look at backlink analysis, which is part of competitive analysis, but it does kind of bridge those two areas of keyword research and competitive analysis. SEO Book has a tool based on SEMrush. This is probably my favorite tool of all time for keyword research and, and competitive analysis, just because it considers cost per click in here, and there's not many tools that, that do this. So we can export this, we can start massaging this list, we can start organizing it and creating our information architecture, and we can look at some of the big players in a space and find out what their valuable keywords are, which is really, really uh, incredible insights to have. Uh, Keyword Spy is another another product out there. Spy Fu. These are based on on paid search offerings and do pull in a little bit of PPC data and will give you some keyword and competitive suggestions. So they're in that same boat where they they bridge that gap of of two types of tools. And we'll certainly talk about these more in the competitive intelligence section. Keyword Spy is at about ninety dollars a month, so you can see it really adds up if you are adding all of these keyword tools. So you really have to pick one, stick with it, try a couple of them out, call these places and get a demo. They're, they're always happy to walk you through their tools and show you all of what it can do with, uh, with your particular site. SEO Moz doesn't really have a, a true keyword research tool, but the keyword difficulty report we'll definitely take a look at is one of the best competitive research tools. So this combined with one of those keyword tools is really an excellent resource. You can see they, they pull some really important information with regards to SEO. Um, there's tools like uh, the Keyword Generator from Ontalo, where we can enter two lists of keywords. I entered SEO, SEO Training, SEO Services, and then Best Top and Online as my modifiers, and then I get this nice little list. So this is great for paid search, just creating a, a big initial list, um, just a down and dirty free tool. And again, they have lots of free tools with, with premium add-ons as a service. So a lot of these tool sets, to get you interested, they'll, they'll offer these free tools so you can stitch them together or you can find the package that's, that's most, most worthwhile for you. Keyword Lizard is another one, just nice, cool little concatenation tool. Uh, this is a little bit more for paid search, but it certainly works for generating a keyword list for SEO as well. And finally, uh, Wordle is just kind of a visual way to put uh, keywords into place. If you're giving a presentation, you take your keyword list and you throw it in here, and it, it makes a, a nice little list that kind of visualizes your keywords a little bit better than maybe just a, a spreadsheet would if you're, if you're giving a presentation. So that was a whole lot of tools in a short amount of time, but hopefully you, you have all those. The URLs for all of these are available here. I encourage you to test these and play with the free tools and generate those lists and always generate large seed lists and then organize those. And that's what you'll do with your information architecture and with your competitive research you'll look at each of these phrases and say, which one is it possible for us to compete for? Where is it realistic? This is why SEO has a bad rap is because you generate these keyword lists and someone tells you they can certainly rank for that when they can't, when they're up against Amazon and Wikipedia and 10 other sites that have page authority of 80 or better you're not going to compete with that with your mom and pop business. It's just not realistic. And sometimes people need to hear that. It's hard to hear, but that's what you'll determine with the competitive research tools like SEO Omaz's keyword difficulty report here. So we obviously covered a lot of information in a short period of time. Again, you can get all of these tools from Annie Cushing's wonderful list, and it is a free list. You can see the difference is important between choosing a free and a paid 
product. It can add up really quickly if you're spending $300 a month on all of these different type of tools. You spend $300 on a keyword research tool and then later you realize you need a link development tool as well. So consider the entire suite, find a tool set that works for you, and stitch a couple of these tool sets together. There's some great ones out there specifically to keyword research, Word Tracker, WordStream, WordZ are, are going to be great. SEO book is great, is one of my favorites in general. SEM Rush is phenomenal in terms of competitive intelligence. There's almost nothing better. And obviously your analytics and webmaster tools are going to help you uh, find some of that important keyword research as well. So we looked at the tasks that uh, are associated with keyword research, some of the tool sets available. We demoed some of these tools to walk you through them and show you what's uh, what you're going to see within them. And again, we discussed the importance of free versus paid tools and developing that overall tool set. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you'll join me for more with the competitive research tools and some of the other tool sets that we'll demo. Thank you.